bouncy melodies trigger hidden memories and the silence <laughs> to um, shed light about migrant workers in Canada, migrant exploitation, and to talk about cross-cultural understanding through music, and to raise awareness about everything that is happening in Ontario in regards to migrant workers. I don't know if anyone ever thinks about who those people are, um, or why they're here, but they're picking the food that we eat in our lunches, um, for our suppers, for breakfast, um, so they're providing us with our food. So it's really important that we become aware of that and that they are here and sometimes they're not treated fairly. Um, they're not treated the same as you or I um, because they're coming from a different country. Um, and so as students, we have the potential to create awareness okay, and to do good things for these workers. My name is Miss Mitchell. I'm from St. Christopher School in Niagara and I teach grade five, six class. And um, same is here today to uh, encourage students to um, be supportive of students against migrant exploitation and become familiar with the fact that all these people are within the Niagara region and to be aware of where their food comes from. The human voice and the human body is an instrument that unites all of us. It crosses cultures, it crosses generations, it crosses gender lines, it crosses nations. These are, it's, it's something that we all have with us because we are all human. So sometimes when, we're, when, when we look at things that unites us, that we all have in common, we begin to realize that we're all the same. There's a problem sometimes that exists with the treatment that's given to some of these workers. And our goal of our presentation is nothing more than for you guys to go home and think about where your food comes from and appreciate the fact that workers leave their families and leave their kids much like you guys for six, eight, ten months of the year to try to make their family have a better life. They pick the food, the very food that we eat. And because of that, we're connected to them. Much like the top of the people at the top of the mountain, the people at the bottom, we're able to connect in the middle and share. This is how they share with us. And the least we can do to share with them is show them respect and ask that they get treated with equal rights and equal respect as we would like to be treated. Because sometimes they're faced with very hard circumstances. And I don't think any of us would really like to be faced with hard circumstances just because we're trying to work and help our families live, right? And so the number one goal of our presentation is to think about what Ruben talked about today. When cultures come together, when they're together in the same space, beautiful things can happen. So the fact that workers, many workers, come here every year to share with us, to pick the food that we eat, should be recognized and we should be happy for them being here, right? Because they do help put food on our tables. And so they deserve equal rights, because we are all the same. Okay, you ready?